Okay, let's evaluate a definite integral, but this time we want to interpret it in terms of areas. And we're allowed to do this one because it's a nice line, right? It's a linear function on the inside there. So if I were working this, I would draw myself a picture and make sure I was really confident that we can think mx plus b, right? y equals mx plus b. So the slope of our line is 2. So when our slope is 2, you want to think rise over run. So 2 over 1 would be up 1, right 1 to get additional points on our graph. But we'd want to start with our y-intercept, b equals negative 14. So I'm going to go ahead and place, place negative 14 on our graph here. And it may be a little confusing. 1, 3, 5, 7 are not actually listed on that graph. All right. So we're going to go start at that y-intercept, go up 1, right 1, Sorry, up to right 1, so negative 14 to negative 12, and go right 1, up to right 1, up to right 1, up to right 1, and just keep going, and we can fill out and get a very, very, very nice graph going. After we have our graph, go ahead, got a few points, connect those points together. That's why that line was hanging out over there. And now we want to interpret it in terms of areas. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is look at our endpoints, right? Our endpoints for this integral are 3 and 8. So I don't care all the way over here to 0 for an x value or 1 as an x value or 2 as an x value. I really want to look from 3 all the way to 8. Okay, so as we're, we're thinking about that, we have two different triangles it looks like to me. We have a triangle going on here that's below the x-axis and a separate one up here that's above the x-axis. So let's do the calculations for these individually. The area for the bottom one is going to be 1 half times base times height, right? It's just a, a triangle. So with this, let's think we are 8 units below the x-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and say 8 for this side. And then between 3 and 7, where our x-intercept is, it looks like uh, 3 to 7 would be 4 units on the top. So that's going to be 1 half times 8 times 4 should work out to be 16. But in terms of that's the area of the triangle, we're going to have to treat it as a negative 16 because it was below the x-axis. The other triangle at the top, to compute its area, it's again a triangle, so 1 half base times height. The base here is just going to be 1, and the height appears to be 2 on that side. So 1 half base times height, it has an area of positive 1. We're going to add that because that was above the x-axis. So areas above the x-axis are positive, areas below the x-axis are negative. So add those, combine those like terms together, and we get negative 15. Um, is going to be that definite integral. So hope this helps out. Um, I would say draw the picture, get some graph paper, that sort of thing. It really helps as far as locating exactly where you need to be. So good luck.